The LAL lens, and, and, and uh, the many reasons for having selected this in my case, but stands for light adjustable lens. And so it's a lens that actually is adjustable after you've implanted it into the eye. I thought I was knowledgeable being in the business, and when I heard about this lens, the attractive thing to me was that it was adjustable. And after the surgery was, was completed, there was still some wiggle room there. And if, if my prescription wasn't completely corrected, if I had more astigmatism, less astigmatism, wanted to keep my near vision, that was all fixable after. And I got to decide. So I kind of played a part, even though they're the wonderful experts surgeons, I got to put my two cents worth. I think it's going to work better this way. Each eye is done individually and almost everybody, and you know, I'll tell patients it's very rare that you have exactly the same prescription. You'll have a dominant eye and a non-dominant eye, even if they both correct to 20-20, and the prescriptions are typically a little different. So yes, this lens is customized to each eye individually. It's almost like getting a custom suit that you're making exactly to your, to your parameters. So it is very individualized. This is a, a lens blank of about a minus 10, which is what I was, so I'm going to put this on my, on my left eye. So this is about the power, and, and a side view is even, if, if patients have looked at their glasses, and they always look at the side to see how, how pretty this is going to look in glasses. So this is what I was dependent on, and I see 2020 without it now. My vision today, without any correction, uh, I can see the roadside out the window. Uh, 2020 distance vision, close up. I say I, I read J1. J1 is like a medicine-sized bottle print, and because because the two eyes are working together, uh, computer is perfectly clear for me. I, I really don't need a correction distance or near. It's life-changing, that sounds like a cliche, but for someone who's been dependent on uh, prescription lenses since second grade, so a good 50 plus years, it, it's, it's been an, an incredible uh, journey and amazing uh, results. So an adjustment with the LAL was this quick minute and a half process. Just put your chin in there and you're looking at a light. Totally non-painful, they put little anesthetic drops, but I don't even know that that was necessary. It's just a really bright light, and you focus on a little dot. It's almost like a lot of the preliminary tests that we do on patients, and it was, uh, the longest was, I think, a 90-second adjustment. You're just looking at a light, and uh, the second one, I think, was 60 seconds. So, painless, very quick. Because this is a light activated lens, it can be activated by UV exposure. So you were agreeing if you were going to do this that you were going to wear these uh, post LAL glasses until our final lock-in. So uh, they give me these glasses. These are the clear ones, and I, I even slept in these. Not too aesthetically bad, I don't think. If we went outside, we put these sunglasses, and these are, I think, pretty cool. And so I would wear these. You had to wear one or the other until you were, uh, had the final lock-in. And it was to protect your eyes and that implant from having any changes until they did the final lock-in. So not at all. These were not at all cumbersome. I'm used to wearing sunglasses. And uh, uh, like I said, I gr I've grown attached to them. I still carry them with me. Telling a patient that they have a cataract, and, 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 I'll, and I'll watch their emotion, and, and some of them look very afraid when I, when I say cataract. And, and before I used to say, you know, cataract's just an aging change. It's not a pathology. Uh, pathology is macular degeneration or glaucoma. This is an aging change. You, you live to your 80, you get wrinkles and cataracts, totally normal. After having this procedure and, and, and having the, the LAL lens uh, implanted, uh, I just, uh, I believe it helps me uh, empathize with a patient and give them better options and it has changed the way I practice. Cataract surgery to me used to be a, a medically reparative, medically necessary reparative surgery and now I think of it as a, as a, a, a visually restorative procedure. So now when I have a patient with a cataract and a highly myopic patient like myself, you know, I feel like saying congratulations you have a cataract <laughs> as I think we can fix this and, and maybe improve your vision better than it, it ever was. So this LAL procedure has, has completely surpassed my expectations. I, uh, as I mentioned before, had compromised with my vision. I was actually in a, in a daily lens, which was under correcting myself. I was monovision, and I just, I, I didn't, I had expectations, but it, this has completely surpassed what I thought I could ever, I have better vision now than I did with my glasses and or contact lenses.